This presentation will show you the basic preparation and setup of post contour cardiac output monitor or the PICO monitor. PICO is an advanced hemodynamic monitoring that gives complete hemodynamic picture without a pulmonary artery catheter. It provides information such as continuous cardiac output, volumetric preload and afterload, contractility, volume responsiveness, and pulmonary edema or lung water. This video presentation will not discuss detailed information as to what PICO can do and its indication. What will be discussed are supplies that would be needed for monitoring and how to initially set up to begin hemodynamic monitoring. The central venous catheter that will be used is a standard central venous line. However, the arterial line catheter that needs to be placed is a PICO arterial catheter shown here. If the patient has an existing arterial catheter, it needs to be replaced by a physician using PICO arterial catheter. For children, 3 French 7 cm and 4 French 16 cm PICO arterial catheter can be used with femoral and axillary artery as preferable sites. The procedure in assisting the physician in placing these catheters the central venous line and a PICO arterial catheter is dependent on your own facilities protocol. Now let's begin the setup process. Plug in the PICO monitor. Now connect the white plug PICO arterial transducer slave cable from the back of the PICO monitor to the Phillips cable. Connect this cable with the Phillips interface box or module. Connect the injectate cable to the brown socket of the thermistor cable. And then connect the thermistor cable to the orange socket on the right side of the PICO monitor. Lastly, connect the pressure cable that will be used later to connect with the arterial transducer. Remove the PICO arterial transducer kit from the sterile package. Make sure all the connections are secure. Prime the transducer kit and attach to the heparin bag or syringe according to your facility's policy. Make sure all air bubbles are removed from the system. And finally, replace the vented caps on the side port of the stopcocks with the non-vented caps included in the package. Now let's get ready to connect the system with the already placed PICO arterial catheter. Verify blood return, flush, and clamp before disconnecting. Attach a transducer setup, then unclamp the tubing. Connect the transducer cable with the PICO pressure cable. And finally, connect the end of the thermistor cable to the red thermistor connector. Find the injectate temperature sensor housing from the PICO arterial line transducer package. Prime a needleless access cap. And connect this to the injectate temperature sensor housing. Finish priming this setup. Clamp the distal port of the CVL, disconnect the CVP transducer setup, and reconnect on the side port of the stopcock. Now connect the injectate temperature sensor housing on the end port of the stopcock.
Gently snap in place the blue end of the injectate sensor cable to the injectate sensor housing. And then clamp the line. With this setup, you are now ready to turn on the Pico monitor, calibrate and perform thermodilution.